Yes, Jen, she is. And I just spoke to her moments ago, and we're going to hear more from her later this evening. But one of the sentiments that she wanted to share is that as a parent herself, she just can't believe that this is still going on. It's, it's not happening. She says that it's not happening in any other country in the world. It's only an America issue. When I asked her when, uh, when people counter the argument by saying it's a it's not a gun issue, it's a people issue. She says that, you know, th there, there are people with mental, um, mental health issues around the world, but no one takes a gun and starts shooting. And this is the reason why she's out here, one of the reasons why she's supporting this cause and would like to see legislative changes. And of course, as you can see right behind me, over 400 people are here at the park. They're going to be walking from here all the way to Oxford High School. It's, it's a peaceful march. And with me, I've got over here Cassandra from No Future without today who's going to be shedding some light into you're also a student as well Cassandra now before we begin I want to first ask you it's been nearly six or seven months um, since the school shooting took place how are students where are students at the moment you know we're we're still recovering and we're still getting back into the swing of things and I think to a lot of other people they see it on the news and they think what a terrible thing but for us we know these kids we're friends with them. We saw them every day. And now we don't get to see them at all. I mean, there's no words that can actually even sort of bring peace or calm to a situation at all. It's just absolutely horrific. But when, when you, when the local community over here hears mass shooting taking place at a post Oxford High School shooting, like, you know, uh, the, the shooting in Buffalo or Uvalde, Texas, how traumatic is that for you guys? It brings up so many memories that we don't want to think of, but we have to, because that's the reality of the nation that we live in. It's something that we see every day. We see it on the news, and every time I see it, I can just think, I know what they're feeling, and it's terrible. And that's why today's event is super important. Can you shed some light into how many people are here and what's the one thing or a couple of things that people are asking for? There are hundreds of people here today and we want action. We want something to happen so that kids can be safe. And not only kids, but everyone. Because this isn't something that we should have to face. We want reform, we want legislation, we want concrete things that are gonna help end this for good. Cassandra, thank you so much. I just want to shift our focus over here to a uh, parent as well, Emily. Emily's here as well. Now, Emily, before we sign out for, for this hit at least, I want to talk to you about, you know, growing up, how has school sort of changed over the years? Because I'm sure schooling must be very different to when you went to school. Absolutely. I went to school in the 80s and we didn't worry about um, lockdown drills, Alice lockdowns, um, night locks. We didn't think about grabbing um, staplers and backpacks in order to keep ourselves safe. It was a much simpler time. Um, so that's quite different than today. And as a parent, this must break your heart that your kids and future kids, if nothing is changed, will have to go through this. We need change. Um, I'd never thought that my son would be running for his life from the high school on that day and um, I'm very thankful and I'm very fortunate that he um, is safe um, but there are four families whose children didn't come home that day so um, we're thinking about them and we're doing this for them today. Emily thank you so much once again Jen we're here at uh and in Oxford and of course the peaceful march is supposed to take place at 11:30. it's going to go um, all the way to Oxford High School and back to the park um, and of course I also want to highlight that CDC has highlighted that um, gun violence is the is, is now the highest uh, reason for fatality among young people here in the US so once again a very important topic to talk about it's happening this morning it's actually happening nationwide 10 locations here in Michigan five across Metro Detroit Jen for now it's back to you